So let's have a look at area. This is all the stuff in the middle and the perimeter. It's like the perimeter fence, the outline of the shape. Area of a rectangle. So we have the width and we have the length measurement. The length is the longer side. And to find the area, we times the length by the width. So here we have three millimeters times two millimeters, which equals six millimeters. And then we use the square sign because to show this is area squared. So let's have a look at another rectangle. So we know the area equals length times width. So the length of this rectangle is 11 centimeters and the width is three. So 11 times three gives us 33 centimeter. And let's not forget the squared. To find the perimeter of the rectangle, we need to add all the measurements together to add up to the total that will give us, for example, the perimeter fence. So our measurements are 11 plus 11 plus 3 plus 3, which equals 28, or 11 times 2, giving us 22, and 2 times 3 is 6. We can add them together, giving us a total of 28. So let's have another perimeter. Our measurements this time are 23 and 5. So 23 plus 23 plus 5 plus 5 gives us 56. Or we do 23 times 2, giving us 46. 5 times 2, giving us 10. Add them up, gives us 56. So for an area of the square, it's the same formula as a rectangle but obviously the sides are equal. So we would call the sides both A. So it's side times side would give us A squared. So for this, it's six, six times six, it's 36 and not forgetting centimeter squared. So looking at the perimeter then of the square, again, we're gonna add all the lengths of the side together and that's four sides. So we could do four times six, which gives us 24 or 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 also giving us 24. 